Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. It is day 30 in the month of matcha, ladies and gents. We are pretty much closing out March and boy howdy. Um, yeah, different perspective. This is in my car and um, I decided to sneak out, well not sneak out, just go out and grab um a drink that I wanted to try again but freshly made. I say that in quotes because um it has been a little while. But it's back folks. The frozen matcha latte from Dunkin Donuts. It in a small, it is in a small and um yeah, the lady told me the employee told me um, the reason why they can't make it with different types of milk is that their machine uh, would get cross contamination, and like for those who have uh, allergy, an allergy, excuse me, to almonds or something like that, yeah, that would be catastrophic. So I'm like, oh, now I get it. But at the same time, it's like y'all. What about those who are lactose intolerant? Like, yeah, sorry, y'all. I the camera did not want or the phone didn't want to stay put. So new angle, who this? Um, so like I was saying, the phone or the phone, the um, you know, what about folks that are lactose intolerant? I mean, I have my pills right here. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. I have my lactose pills right here. I mean, shoot, it this could have been solved if we just had um the ability to use almond milk in the frozen latte. But it is what it is. I mean, they could have <clears throat> excuse me. They could have taken a page out of Starbucks and just made the drinks um with almond milk or coconut milk whatever. And it would have been all hunky dory, but yeah, it is what it is. I done talked your ears off. Hope you all been doing well. Um, what, what, what was I going to say? Yeah, y'all. So, here we go. I got my pills in hand, so let me put that in first. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Frozen matcha latte. Cheers, y'all. It's only been, um, I want to say, what, 10, 15 minutes? Maybe 20. But I'm getting pure liquid. It's not hot out today yet. It's only like 8 o'clock, a little past 8. But yeah, I'm not really getting the frozen part. I'm just getting the ice, the chilled liquid. So, uh, yeah, y'all, I mean, this tastes, when it's freshly made, when I'm, like, enjoying it within a reasonable time that it's made, it's still, like, the liquid sinks to the bottom and the ice flows to the top. There we go. That's the, that's the texture I'm looking for. Really got to shake the bejesus out of it, y'all. And then, unfortunately, y'all, um, the sun is rising, and, you know, <laughs> the house, how my house is, um, you know, stationed, the sunlight's, like, hitting different parts of my face, and then there's shadows and whatnot, so, yeah, looks really weird, and, like, you're not gonna be able to see it, but my eyes are pretty, like, lit right now, because <laughs> I'm trying not to, like, open my eyes, but also that's, um, my family, uh, genetics right there, my mother's side, where we don't have, like, big eyes, but, like, if I extend them, they're big. Dunkin' Donuts frozen matcha latte. Shucks, y'all, what do I, what do I want to say? It's, it's different in that 
it's different in that, um, you know, it's a different way to have matcha. Like, I wouldn't have thought to make, like, a matcha latte slushy or frozen matcha latte. But, I mean, would I try to do this at home? Sure, why not? At least I know with, um, at my house, I could use milk that doesn't have lactose in it. You know, that's, that's the key. Because, you know, I took these pills and it should be fine, but, um, yeah, I just hate that when, you know, you have dietary concerns, but, you know, restaurants, they can't accommodate that. So usually you would just forego it. But, um, yeah, usually I like Dunkin' Donuts over Starbucks. It's just that with the matcha drinks, uh, Starbucks won me over because the stuff isn't made with, um, lactose, y'all. It's that simple. Like, I can enjoy it and not worry about the drink tearing up my insides. <laughs> but, I mean, from a taste standpoint, the Dunkin' Donuts uh, matcha latte is good. It reminds me of Starbucks' own, where they have the pre-sweetened matcha mix. And, um... I mean, I just wish Dunkin' Donuts would have that consideration for those that are lactose intolerant or just use lactose-free milk just to be on the safe side. Um, oh, and you know what, y'all? I, I, I forgot to do this initially, but I'll do it now. Um, well, let's let's give the verdict for this freshly made matcha la frozen matcha latte. So in the case of Dunkin' Donuts' frozen matcha latte, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, my verdict still stands. It is still a good. However, you know, it could be great if lactose was taken out of the picture. I want to be able to enjoy drinks, you know, from restaurants and whatnot. And not have to, like, as you saw, um, take three pills just to have my stomach at, uh, settled. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe us lactose intolerant folks gotta have a bigger outpour, a bigger, um, outcry, you know, don't have lactose and like lactose milk or something like that. I don't know. But um okay, so like I was alluding to beforehand, um I don't think I've rated the drinks, the frozen, the hot, and the iced matcha latte. Um, you know how I would place them. So, um in first plate or no, let's do it bottom up it like the matcha base is good but like you know frozen even after 15 minutes i was gonna do it at my local dunkin donuts but y'all it it, it, it would have been out it would have been weird with me with this um boa on so i'm like you know what let me just drive home and do the video in the car so um yeah, third place is the frozen because it tastes, even after just freshly making it, it still tastes like I stuck it in the freezer. Like, um, you really have to agitate it. It's like annoying AF. I shouldn't have to do that. But lo and behold, I did. Um, it's just something that I'm not really... Um, wanting to do you know i shouldn't have to like be agitating my drink every sip to get what the texture is supposed to be like in second place um the hot the hot is second place i mean i do like hot matcha lattes it's just um 
I do prefer iced over hot. And the hot matcha latte was really good when I had it last time. So, you know, no no love lost with the hot version. It's just that first place iced matcha latte. I just love the taste of iced drinks. You know, being here in Florida kind of comes with the territory. And, um, I mean, you can have iced year-round, but hot drinks, it usually calls for a specific um, time of year, in my opinion, or a specific circumstance, I, a.k.a. you're under the weather. So, yeah, y'all, that is going to do it. Um... Yeah, this video is going to look so weird, y'all. But that's day 30. Sorry, it is overdue. Um, yesterday was a hot mess. And um, I was just reeling from my other prior obligation. I will tell y'all what that is. I will tell y'all what that is very soon. It's just right now, um, uh, kind of like in limbo and then um work having to work so i really didn't have a chance to rest this past weekend but you know it's because i'm um well prepared i, I wouldn't say well prepared but i would say better off better off because my goal is to not have to need to go to the store like i said for at least two weeks but because of the perishables or, you know, the produce that I want, that comes with the territory. You have to go to the store at least on a weekly basis. So, you know, it's just picking out what day I can swoop in and swoop out, y'all. That's, that's, really, that's really how you want to handle this thing. You, you just want to go to the store, swoop in, swoop out, be out and back in your home so yeah y'all um that is day 30 so i gotta go ahead go inside and get ready for work i say that but it's a few hours before i have to get ready for work so thank you all for watching any questions comments suggestions or small talk don't be a stranger Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products that I try and the things that I talk about. Um, what else, y'all? Yeah, so later on this evening, we are going to close out, and I promise you, we will close out Month of Matcha. Um, yeah. So, it's kind of anticlimactic, but it's, like, at least it's with a drink that I haven't had, I guess. You know, sort of a new element of surprise. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's... I'll probably ran again. I'll probably... I'll probably be like, well, I wanted this year to be a big extravaganza, but... <laughs> it didn't turn out that way but we just made do with what we had y'all so um yeah until today's actual episode month of matcha day 31 and tuesdays with a t episode 89 if i'm not mistaken but until then y'all take care take it easy Make it a great day today and every day. Stay safe. Stay in your home. Practice social distancing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So until then, my friends, this is Sasha signing off. Bye now. <laughs>